The Britannia platform is located in the UK North Sea Block 1626, some 210 kilometers northeast of Aberdeen, in water approximately 150 meters deep. ACG Aberdeen awarded Jumbo Offshore the contract for the transport and installation of the Callanish and Brodgar manifolds, which are part of the Britannia Satellites Development Project being undertaken by ConocoPhillips. In 2003, Jumbo successfully introduced its pioneering concept of integrated transportation and offshore installation. The motor vessel Jumbo Javelin, with its DP2 system, 1600 ton lift capacity and 17 knot speed meant fast transit times could be guaranteed and double handling avoided. In September 2005, preparation of the transport and installation manual started at Jumbo's headquarters in Rotterdam. Extensive hazard analysis meetings were conducted to identify all possible risks. End April 2006, motor vessel Jumbo Javelin arrived in the port of Rotterdam and was prepared for the planned offshore operation. To reach the required water depth of 150 meters, the main blocks were set to a four-fall configuration, providing a 230-ton lift capacity for each 800-ton mast crane. Additional accommodation units were installed to house the extra crew, surveyors and client representatives. Ten days later, the Jumbo Javelin left Rotterdam for Rosyth in Scotland, where the Callanish and Brodgar manifolds had been fabricated. The Jumbo Javelin left Rotterdam for Rosyth in Scotland where the Callanish and Brodgar manifolds had been fabricated. The Babcock fabrication yard is located behind the bridges crossing the Firth of Forth. With both crane jibs lowered, the vessel could easily pass these obstructions. On the 2nd of May, the Brodgar manifold of 208 tons was lifted from the quayside supports with the two cranes working in tandem. It was accurately positioned on the deck support plates on the port side of the Jumbo Javelin. Subsequently, all eight piles, each with a weight of 20 tons, were loaded and placed in the deck support structure. The next day, the Callanish manifold of 250 tons was loaded and placed on the starboard side. The Jumbo Javelin was now moved to a nearby quayside outside the harbour basin to be independent of the tide. Yeah? Right here. Okay. After lashing and securing of all cargo on deck, the Jumbo Javelin had to stay standby for five days waiting for an improvement in the weather conditions. On Monday the 8th of May, the vessel sailed for the North Sea, again passing below both bridges with ample room to spare. Immediately after the bridges, both main lift blocks were rigged to the Callanish manifold, secured to the main deck and prepared for the planned operation offshore. Handling the manifolds with two cranes greatly improved load control during the lifting operations. After 10 hours sailing, the offshore installation site was reached. DP trials and positioning on the exact location were carried out. ACGI had positioned the support vessel Polar Bjorn to assist the Jumbo Javelin with all necessary ROV operations, surveying and piling work. Prior to arrival of the Jumbo Javelin, acoustic transponders had been installed on the seabed to define the exact installation location. All went well. 
The weather improved significantly and the 250-ton Kalanish manifold was overboarded and lowered through the splash zone. After the manifold safely landed on the seabed, each pile was overboarded, upended and lowered. The piles were then stabbed in the pile guides of the manifold. For this purpose, they are outfitted with guide cones to facilitate the stabbing operations. Pile driving and final connection of piles was undertaken by ACEG's support vessel, Polar Bjorn. After all piles were stabbed into the first manifold, the jumbo javelin prepared to sail to the next location. At some miles distance from the Kalanish field, the same procedure started for the Brodgar manifold. The 208-ton unit was lifted from deck and slowly maneuvered to the starboard side of the vessel. The sea was calm now, and only the longitudinal tugger lines were needed for load control. With the help of the ROV, the tugger lines were cut, and the lifting shackles released. Project preparation paid off. The weather helped, and without a hitch, two days later, both manifolds were safely in place on the seabed at 150 meters depth at two locations several miles apart. On the Thursday morning, the jumbo javelin sailed to Newcastle to load reels and other heavy cargo for its next project, offshore Malaysia.